you're holding a phone right now, or maybe you're on a laptop. Whatever device you're using, here's the unsettling truth. The most advanced parts inside it exist because of one company, not Apple, not Samsung, not even the chip makers you've heard of. I'm talking about a company so powerful that if it disappeared tomorrow, the frontier of the global economy, advanced AI, smartphones, and military systems would stall. No new iPhones, no AI development, defense technology would hit a wall, and yet I'd bet my last dollar you've never heard their name. This is the story of ASML, a, a Dutch company that accidentally became the most important manufacturer on planet Earth. And right now, they're caught in the middle of the biggest tech war in human history. Let's start with what ASML actually makes. Machines that print computer chips. But calling them printers is like calling a spaceship a flying car. These aren't just machines. They're technological miracles. Each one weighs comparable to a fully loaded Boeing 747. The price tag? Up to $380 million per unit. To ship just one machine requires 40 shipping containers and three Boeing 747 cargo planes. Once it arrives, you'll need a team of 250 specialized technicians spending months just to assemble it. But here's where it gets insane. Inside these machines, lasers fire 50,000 times per second. Each pulse creates plasma temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun for nanoseconds at a time, concentrated into a space smaller than a human hair. We're talking about focusing immense power on a droplet of molten tin, creating a light source so precise it can etch patterns 25,000 times thinner than a human hair. This is EUV lithography, extreme ultraviolet lithography, and ASML is the only company on Earth that can build these machines. Think about that for a second. In a world obsessed with breaking up monopolies, Google, Amazon, Meta, there's one company with a 100% monopoly on EUV lithography, the most critical step in leading-edge chips. And nobody's talking about it. Every leading-edge logic chip made today, whether it's powering your iPhone 17, training ChatGPT, or running in cutting-edge data centers, was made using an ASML machine. Companies like TSMC in Taiwan, Samsung in Korea, and Intel in the US, they're all customers. They all depend on ASML. No ASML machine means no cutting-edge chips. No cutting-edge chips means the entire frontier of tech innovation grinds to a halt. The Pentagon knows this. The Chinese Communist Party knows this. And that's exactly why ASML has become ground zero in the new Cold War. Here's the crazy part. ASML almost didn't make it. Back in 1984, this company started as a struggling joint venture between Philips and ASM International operating out of a literal shed in the Netherlands. For the first four years, they burned through cash with almost nothing to show for it. The company nearly went bankrupt five separate times. One partner bailed. Employees worked in freezing conditions. They were the underdogs nobody believed in. Then they went public in 1995 at a valuation of $800 million. One share cost just two to 50s. Fast forward to today, that same company is worth over $400 billion. If you'd invested just $100 back then, you'd be sitting on $4.3 right now. That's a 43,000% return, one of the greatest investment stories in modern history. But this isn't just about making shareholders rich. ASML's rise represents something far more significant. They've built something nobody else can replicate. Let me explain why EUV is so impossibly hard. Traditional chip making uses ultraviolet light to etch circuits onto silicon wafers. But as chips got smaller and more complex, that light wasn't precise enough. You needed a shorter wavelength, extreme ultraviolet light at just 13.5 nanometers. The problem? EUV light gets absorbed by everything, air, glass, even normal mirrors. So ASML had to engineer around physics itself. Their solution? create a near-perfect vacuum inside the machine. Then use mirrors so smooth that if you scaled them up to the size of Germany, the largest imperfection would be less than a millimeter tall. These mirrors are coated with 100 alternating layers of materials, each layer just a few atoms thick. The light source is equally bonkers. Tiny droplets of molten tin, 
smaller than grains of sand, are fired into the machine at 80 meters per second. A laser blasts each droplet twice, first to flatten it, then to vaporize it, creating a plasma that emits EUV light. This happens 50,000 times every single second. Each machine contains over 100,000 parts from more than 5,000 suppliers across 800 companies. It's among the most complex machines ever built by humans, more intricate than the Space Shuttle, more sophisticated than the Large Hadron Collider. And ASML is the only company that knows how to make it work. Now here's where things get dangerous. Advanced semiconductors aren't just about TikTok and gaming consoles. They're in cruise missiles, fighter jets, spy satellites, autonomous drones. Whoever controls access to these chips controls military superiority in the 21st century. And the United States is terrified that China might catch up. Since 2019, the U.S. government has been pressuring the Netherlands, ASML's home country, to block exports of EUV machines to China. The Dutch government caved. In 2019, they canceled a $150 million sale to a Chinese customer just days before delivery. But it didn't stop there. The export controls have gotten tighter every year. Now, ASML can't even service or repair older machines already operating in China. Washington isn't just trying to beat China in the chip race. They're trying to make sure China can't even compete. China's response? They've launched a massive push for self-sufficiency. Chinese companies are pouring billions into developing their own lithography equipment. SEMIC, Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment, is attempting to build domestic alternatives. They've hired legendary engineers like Liang Mong Song, who helped build both TSMC and Samsung. There are reports of Chinese firms attempting to reverse engineer ASML machines, though these efforts have mostly resulted in damaged equipment and limited progress. Right now, China's most advanced chipmaker, SMIC, is stuck at least two generations behind. They can make seven nanometer chips through brute force and older equipment, but the yields are low and the costs are astronomical. Meanwhile, TSMC is already producing three nanometer chips at scale using ASML's latest EUV systems. At the EUV level, the gap is no longer incremental, it's structural. If you want clear, engineer-level explanations of how technology, geopolitics, and economics collide, subscribe to Quantum Silk Route. This is exactly what we do here. So where does this leave us? ASML sits at the center of the biggest technology battle of our time. Their order books are packed. 39 billion in backlog as of the latest quarter. Demand from US, Taiwanese, and Korean customers is soaring, driven by the AI boom and the race to build more data centers. But the big question looms, can this monopoly last? Will China eventually crack the code and build their own EUV machines? Maybe, but eventually could mean 10, 15, even 20 years. And in that time, ASML isn't standing still. They're already developing next generation systems that will make today's EUV machines look primitive. Could another company emerge as a competitor? Theoretically, yes. But you'd need decades of R&D, tens of billions in investment, and a global supply chain of thousands of specialized companies. Even then, you'd be starting from scratch while ASML is already light years ahead. Will geopolitics tear ASML apart? That's the real wild card. The Netherlands is caught between its biggest ally, the United States, and one of its largest markets, China. Every export restriction damages ASML's business in China, which accounted for 29% of their revenue as recently as 2023. The European Union wants strategic autonomy. The US wants technological dominance. China wants self-sufficiency. And ASML? They just want to sell machines and push the boundaries of physics. Here's what keeps me up at night. We live in a world where the most advanced technology, the stuff that defines competitive advantage, depends on a single company that most people have never heard of. Your smartphone? ASML chips in the processor, the AI models everyone's freaking out about? Trained on chips made by ASML machines, military systems that keep nations secure? Built on the same foundation. This isn't like oil, where multiple countries can drill and refine. This isn't like smartphones, where a dozen manufacturers compete. 
This is one company with zero competitors at the cutting edge, making the machines that make everything else possible. From a tiny shed in the Netherlands to the most critical manufacturer on Earth, ASML's story is a reminder that the future isn't built by the brands you see on billboards, it's built by the companies working in the shadows, solving problems most people don't even know exist. And as artificial intelligence explodes, as geopolitical tensions rise, as every nation races to secure its technological future, one thing is absolutely certain. The frontier of innovation can't move forward without ASML. The question is, how long can one company carry that much power?